Hey, Mike here with my 2019 Cannondale Scalpel SI. And just to explain uh, an issue I'm having with the stock Cannondale headset, or what Cannondale calls um, the head tube. Um, so I've been having this issue for several months now. I'm able to get, uh, I'm able to tighten up the, the headset and get it riding well for one or two rides and then it loosens up again. Today, same issue, I actually tightened it yesterday and then after uh, an hour or two of riding, it has completely loosened up and um, there's a lot of play in the headset and uh, the bike handles horribly. Uh, you really, really feel it when you ride and um, got so loose to the point that I was worried it might actually damage the frame. So I um, think I figured out or I know I figured out what the issue is and this is what's happening. So I have loosened these, um, the top cap and the stem bolts, but even when they were fully tightened down, I still got this a significant amount of lateral play in the headset. And this is what's happening. I'll remove the top cap. And remove the stem. As well as the three spacers. And the dust cap. So, this is the uh, Ford steer tube, of course. I'll just drop that down um, and you can see that there's this expander wedge this piece this aluminum wedge that sits within the um, the top uh, cartridge bearing so this cartridge bearing I don't know if you can hear it but uh, it's actually running quite rough now this is new, or fairly new, less than a year old, so it shouldn't wear out this quickly, but because there's been so much play in the headset this season, uh, this top bearing is shot. So if I wanted to fix this, I would need to replace this cartridge bearing. Um, but I'm not going to do this because I don't like how this is designed or engineered, so I'm actually going to replace the stock headset with a Chris King headset, which doesn't have um, it's a different design and it doesn't have the expander wedge um, plus it has Chris King bearings which are premium so this is the issue though so you have I'll put the top cartridge bearing back in as well as the expander wedge put the steer tube to it and the whole idea is that if I just show this little slit in this expander wedge is designed and kind of recognizes that there's there's going to be play between uh, the steer tube and the cartridge bearing in the frame. So the whole idea is as you compress or push down on the expander wedge, it's supposed to make up that that slack. Um, and if it's working properly, it it, it does work. Um, I just don't like that design. I think it's kind of a sloppy way to design a headset. Um, so even though I can get this to work again, I'm, I'm not going to do it. But this is this is what was happening. This is how it was. It, this is how the bike came assembled, like this, just with the cartridge bearing, the uh, expander wedge, and this dust cap. So this is actually what pushes down and is supposed to cause that expander wedge to expand and fill up the gap. What was happening is, as it was compressing. Um, this dust cap was touching the frame, so it wasn't pushing down hard enough. Even if I really tightened down the top cap, it wouldn't do anything because this thing, this, this dust cap is touching the frame. It's not pushing down hard enough on this. So um, I, I months ago bought a replacement kit for the Cannondale um, headset, which comes with these three nylon spacers that go in here. I'll just put one on, but uh, and maybe one would work, but uh, they give you three. But the whole idea is you put these on, you know, reassemble, put the dust cap on, reinstall my spacers, three of them for me. Reinstall the stem 
And then when you tighten up the top cap, again, this top cap is now pushing down on the stem, pushing down on the spacers and pushing down onto this dust cover, which now you can see there's actually a little bit of space there. So as I tighten this, it is supplying enough pressure on that expander wedge to fill the gap. And uh, obviously I have a, I could tighten this more, but that play is now gone just from a single nylon spacer. I'd probably add two or three just to be safe. And that should keep it tight and keep the movement, um, you know, should, uh, reduce or eliminate the movement um, and hopefully protect the bearings so I don't destroy the bearings. But I don't like it. I, I think it's kind of a sloppy design and um, I'm going to try the Chris King headset and see how that goes, but I suspect it's going to be quite nice. So once I get that installed, I'll do a video on that. Hope you like it.